So in high school, I started dancing. And so the last couple weeks of high school, you know, when we had nothing else to do, we had free time in class. And one day in particular, we were, I was able to actually dance in class. And I had a student, uh, you know, friend of mine ask me, you know, what's the point of all this dancing or whatever? In today's video, we're gonna answer that exact same question by using lighting. I know it sounds weird, but just stick with me. All right, everybody. So Future Squid here. Um, this video ended up being about 35 minutes to 36 minutes long. So I ended up breaking this down into three different parts. So what you're about to see is previously recorded. So anything that I reference in this video, just know that there's other videos out there. And this video in particular, I'm going to talk about some cheap lighting ideas and RGB stuff that I use if you're on a budget and you're trying to put RGB into your setup. So just keep that in mind. If I reference anything or whatever, it's probably because I've cut it out of this video and I've put it into two other videos. There will be a third part to this series where I'm going over products from Govi who do incredible RGB IC lighting for your YouTube studio or your live stream or your just even your gaming space and in that video i will be talking about products that range in the upwards of 60 dollars all the way up to 200 dollars but keep in mind most products from this company are going to be around the 100 dollars mark or less so if you're interested in something like that and you have a little bit more money to spend for your rgb i suggest that you wait for that video and if you are watching this in the future there will be a link in the description to those other videos and on top of that i will make sure to have a separate playlist that i will put in the card annotation up above on the right of your screen so you can watch those other videos now back to pass squid man that's good all right so next lighting option we're gonna actually talk about a setup like this to where you have you know a lamp that has a little you know reading lamp off the top and then at the top you can't see it because it's out of frame but there's actually a light fixture up there that has a light bulb in it as well this is a two pack of led uh, light bulbs that you can find cheap uh, my wife actually got this from ross for uh, 10 bucks i don't know if that's going to be able to get in the frame but you can see right there it's a uh, 10 bucks and uh, it's a pack of two lights and um it's fairly simple you just again get you a cheap lamp um this one i've had for years or wherever i got it from walmart it's fairly cheap and all you would need to do is have it like it is right now like in frame or wherever and just have it you know give some ambiance or wherever some accent lighting to maybe your blank wall or just set behind you or something like that um it comes with the rgb remote your options are kind of limited when it comes to like uh the effects or whatever it's just the generic effects that you normally get with these kind of things but again you get there you go some simple rgb lighting for your setup this stuff doesn't really cost that much if you start thinking like creatively with this stuff now you can get a four pack from walmart or whatever from the mercury innovations i actually have two of these in my um office ceiling uh light fixture and uh two of them in my my actual bedroom or wherever and these work with google and alexa the only thing about it is if you're using this for normal lighting and stuff like that at least the bulbs that i have um the color accuracy as far as the whites go when you say hey you know put on cool white or just regular white or maybe more of a tungsten or wherever you don't truly get what you ask the assistant for and if you go in the app that they have or wherever and you ask for a certain color or wherever, like cool white or something like that, you can tell that they're adding the actual blue like hue instead of just actually like true white. So keep that in mind. So these are smart lights, obviously. So you can actually just download their app or wherever for the Mercury Innovations app. And then all you have to do is just sync those light bulbs or those products or wherever into your Google Home because I have I have a Google Nest. So you just sync that into your Google Home if you know how to do that kind of stuff already. And then you just, you know, use your phone. You don't even have to have a Google Nest or anything or a hub or anything. Just use your phone and uh, download Google Home on your phone. Sync it up from there, th this app to that app and just use your phone and be like, hey, you know, change office lights to blue, change office lights to purple, red, wherever, and it's going to go ahead and do that. Um, 
So I definitely suggest something like this. Um, if you have a little bit more money, these are like, I think, 20 something dollars. Um, I know they have a pack of two that's like around $15 or something like that, I think as well. So you can get into this kind of idea with like the lamp and stuff like that fairly cheap uh, and a reasonable uh, price. If you're looking for something that's like light bars or something like that, I've talked about this in a previous video before. Um, I'll leave a link in the description to it as well. Um, these are $10 at Walmart. Um, these are light bars. You can see them kind of over my shoulder um, over here um, from this company, uh, Tizumi, I believe. I think they're rebranding to Aurora. So um, just keep that in mind if you're going to Walmart and you can't find this in particular. Um, I wouldn't suggest mounting these on the back of your monitor because on the back of your uh, back of these lights, they actually have a line or a cable where that protrudes out the back. So mounting these to your uh, monitor or something like that might be a little finicky. Um, I don't know why they're not just from the bottom or from the actual side or something like that. I'm guessing because they're expecting you to just put them like this and not really mount these on the back of your monitor. Um, but you can you can use them like this or you can you know lay them down or whatever because the mount has a there's a screw on this one of the sides of the light bars these actually use an app or a remote for the app you can actually sync up their led strips as i did here and you can see at different the different intervals or wherever depending on the speed that you have them fading in and out you can sync them up and have them you know fade in and out the only thing about it is is that each one of them have to be uh the same color if you want this kind of effect of as far as like fading in and out or strobing or you can have them you know they'll go through the whole rgb spectrum if you want to do that that you can sync them all up but if you want a static color like this led strip to be purple and then this led strip or the light bars to be red or something like that you can do that you would just have to point the remote at their receiver respective receiver uh this is like ten ten dollars and i think these light strips are like twelve dollars or something like that um, fairly cheap i would suggest going with this company only at walmart um, next up we have this marquee uh, you know sign or wherever i've covered it in my walmart video like i said before um this is like i think anywhere from 12 to 15 dollars or something like that um and again it's pretty obvious you just put your you know letters or wherever you want on them obviously i have two of them they're from the same company but they don't sync up to the app again i think it's just the receiver that's in there with that being said that's going to be all the budget options that we're really going to talk about and again that that's around like maybe not going over 30 dollars or something like that but just some ideas right there next up we're going to talk about something that you probably can see over here and you probably can see on my face and then my glasses and stuff like that i got this purple hue kind of thing going on with this vapor wave uh you know lighting in my office and everything and we're going to talk about floodlights now floodlights are something that a lot of people use uh in their setups or wherever and it's something common but i want to talk about uh where you should probably get them from and be careful when you order them on amazon but you can get some cheap ones from um amazon or wherever but just make sure you're looking at the reviews and stuff like that in the comments and everything of the lights themselves because and when you start getting into those kind of lights and everything and you're getting the cheaper options you have to make sure that the the build quality everything is good so you don't burn your house down or something you know with that and also make sure when you you pay attention to when you go up in wattage like to the 60 watts and stuff like that those things start uh producing a lot of heat and again it's just like the soft boxes like i was saying if you're in a small enclosed space you know or maybe you don't have ac overhead fan you know whatever um it can really start uh making your office more warm especially if you have a pc going you have all the lights going you know you have your monitors going all that stuff all that stuff starts you know accumulating heat these are these mix with the light bulbs if you're on a budget or wherever i would suggest doing something like that because that way you can add um color and stuff like that that doesn't really need to be on camera but you can add um some complexity with color and you know highlight accent for your shot or your video that's going to really really uh, enhance your video than just having them or your live stream or and not just having a blank background or wherever or a room that's just cluttered and stuff like that i see you guys out there fix your beds just straighten up your beds make your beds it, it's it's so irritating and annoying to go into somebody's live stream who's streaming or wherever and they got their you know them so small in the frame of the camera and all you see is their room and their room is like not even made up like 
bro just put some thought behind it <laughs> please just please bro <laughs> stop it with these floodlights like i said make sure you uh don't go over uh i would say 60 or whatever just don't go over it and try to keep it i would say probably around like 40 or something like that um, make sure that they're not close to the wall as you can see this one is kind of close to the wall and you can already see like how this portion is brighter than the rest of the wall because of how it's being shined on the wall now keep that in mind the closer that you get these lights to a wall or like a flat surface or something that is shining on um you're gonna start getting brighter uh sources in one spot versus what you're trying to cover the whole wall so just keep that in mind as well so that's gonna do it for the video i'm not entirely sure how long this whole process has been as far as like recording b-roll and me talking and stuff like that but i'm guessing i probably spent like two hours of footage recording and i'm gonna have to you know cut it down to i don't even know how i'm gonna edit this pro i really don't um so if you do end up liking something like this then make sure you leave a like um i'm gonna have a full uh youtube studio slash office you know tour and have a video in that of what i use and products and stuff like that because there's a lot of products outside of just the lighting that i have that i use um on my day to day for live streaming youtube content and stuff like that and just gaming in general so if you're interested in something like that from me then just hitting the subscribe button and turn on the notifications here on youtube um, will let you know when that video goes live if you do want to have a discussion about any of this stuff you can find my live stream uh link in the description um then you can go over there on twitch and follow me and uh, turn on the notification so you know when i go live over there if you do want to talk to me and see what i do personally or wherever or you know anything else outside of um, content creation or something like that you can follow me over on twitter there will be a link in the description as well where i just you know tweet out random stuff about anime or just life stuff in general or when i actually go live on twitch i tweet all that stuff out with that being said hopefully you guys continue to have a squid tastic day thank you guys for sticking with me through this long video i uh, hope you guys appreciate it and i know it's probably not on the quality of my mechanical keyboard review but i tried my best here like i've been up it's like two o'clock in the afternoon i was up all night trying to get the b-roll footage i had issues with my camera and stuff like that and just it, it was a lot guys <laughs> this video has been like a 24-hour thing and uh circling back to the whole dancing thing about lighting lighting is the it's pretty much portraying what the dancing is people see dancing as a visual uh representation of what the music is or what the artist is portraying in the song so the viewer which is you guys are consuming that content the dancing which is me is a visible re re representation of what i'm talking about the products or whatever it might be the lighting is the music yes there's music background music in the video but the lighting is just like another beat it's just like a, another drum or a guitar or something like that to the actual video itself i am the dancer you are the viewer watching me so if you're watching a visible res uh, representation of music and the what you're seeing or dancing is bad then you're probably not going to watch or you're going to make fun of it but if the dancing is good you're probably more prone to actually pay attention and look so again it's it's not only important what's behind the camera but it's also important what's on camera so make sure you do a good balance of both with that being said hopefully that made sense if it didn't i don't know we'll just have to see and uh i'll catch you guys in the next one take care have a squid day god bless you and yours deuces everybody